So if I wanted to multiply, um, oh, I don't know, let's say, let's just do something simple. I like simple. All right, so I have, I have angle one is um, 25 degrees. This is so simple, but usually we apply this to, to minutes and seconds. Okay, um, so we have 25 degrees and we have 25 degrees, right? So uh, this is as simple, I mean, we can add them, right? But this, this is why we're doing a simple um, example because if it was uh, a 25 point something degree, uh, decimal degrees, or if it was minutes or minutes and seconds, it gets more complicated, right? So um, simply all we would do is we would enter this in our calculator as 25, you don't even have to type degrees, right? At 25 uh, times two, right? And that will give you your degrees, right? Obviously of 50 degrees. Um, however, if you are trying to uh, multiply uh, degrees and minutes, so let's do 32 degrees, 18 minutes. Okay, so let's imagine 32 degrees, 18 minutes uh, times four. Okay, so let's go old school. Okay, times four. Okay, so you multiply the minutes and then you multiply the degrees. You don't multiply this number as a whole number. Okay, so we would do uh, uh, four times 18. Okay, so we'd say 72 minutes, right? And then we do four times 32, be 128. Now remember that um, both of these units are separate, right? These are, this is talking specifically about minutes. And this is talking specifically about degrees. So I can multiply the minutes and get minutes, multiply the degrees and get degrees. But we gotta make sure that we put our answer into its proper terms, right? 72 minutes. Uh, we need, is above 60 minutes, so we need to uh, subtract, right? So subtract 60 from the 72. And if we subtract 60, then we add one to the 128, right? 60 minutes equals one degree. So this becomes 129 degrees and 12 minutes, right? Okay, so that, that's the proper way to multiply. It doesn't matter what we're multiplying. If we're multiplying decimal degrees, it's even easier, right? If we had uh, uh, 15 uh, point, uh, 275 degrees uh, times four, well, you've done this a billion times since high school, right? You don't even think about the degrees. You just multiply uh, this number and then you add the degrees, right? So it'd be four times 15 point, 275 uh, way easier because we get 61.1 degrees right because we're talking about degrees um it's only minutes if there's no decimal right 32 degrees 18 minutes uh, if we have a decimal we call it decimal degrees and this is important um for us when we move on to uh Let's see, decimal degrees. So when we move on to trigonometry, um, understanding um, decimal degrees be, uh, is important because we have to be able to convert uh, decimal fractions into decimal degrees and then convert the decimal degrees into degrees in minutes. So we, it is important for us to make sure that we understand um, decimal degrees. This is just a fraction of a whole degree, right? And we can um, explain it as minutes as well by multiplying that by 60.